Okay, let's start with the first um, basic muscle app. Let's just bring up a geometry node, and inside of here we will bring up an Alembic node, and I will load up our friend Mr. Ink. We have this animation, as you can see, it's going really, really fast. You can hit, by the way, D here in the viewport, and you can change a lot of stuff in the viewport, and you can draw your time, and as you can see, it's going higher than 120 frames per second. You can hit here the clock, and it will just do uh, 25, 24 frames per second, or whatever your, your project is set up. And the thing is that it's really, really fast because it's a packed alembic. Uh, Houdini, by default, loads the alembic as a packed alembic. That means that this is not really geometry, this is another thing. This is just a packed uh, thing that you cannot work with, but you can see. So it's really useful in a lot of cases just to see it, just to have a reference just for lighting or whatever. But for us, it's not really useful because we need the geometry to attach things to. But let's see this guy first. And you can see we have a lot of stuff here. Uh, this guy is a bypass, which is really done. Do anything with this node right now. As you can see, the blue one is to show things and whatever I'm, if I do here, just a sphere, just to wherever my blue click is on. I'm just showing my sphere right there and I can show my Alembic right here. We have also the template. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's our sphere template. And that's pretty much it. But the thing, as you can see, is this guy is huge. You know, the sphere was really, really, really small. That's because um, Houdini works with meters and Maya with centimeters. So this guy right now, if I hit one, two, sorry, I can do that here, two, three, this is a front view, and four, which is a side, oh, which is a side view. These are 25 meters. So this guy is huge. First thing is to create a transform and just 100 times less than that. Nothing happens because I don't have the blue tick there. Let's do it. And now this guy is about a meter and a half. By the way, I'm using F to frame everything, just like in Maya. So this guy is a meter and a half. Okay, that's better, much better. But it's still no geometry. So we need to unpack it and see this unpack. And you have some lines here, which means we have geometry. With Shift W, you can change this and also with just W you can do the wireframe or not. Okay, so now we have this unpacked, but I usually do just to keep safe a convert node to be sure that there's are unpacked polygons. You can see right now if I hit play, we are around 50 or 60 frames per second because now is it is really calculated every vertex and everything. And another way to see that is that as you can see here, I can hit my I button to get the info. This is my information tab. And right now, this guy has 29 points, 29 primitives, 29 vertices, and 29 packed alembics. Because there are 29 objects here. But it doesn't know how many vertices are there in any of that object. As soon as I hit unpack, you can see in the info that we have uh, 20,000 points, 29 primitives, 80,000 vertices, and poly soups. Just don't worry about that, right? And we have also attributes here. And we have one attribute, which is the P, which is the most basic attribute there is. And this is the position in 3D space. So X, Y, and Z position of each vertice of each uh, frame. So if you can see here, I have one attribute that is called path that I have lost just right there. This attribute called path is the path to the alembic object. So if I hit S to select, and I said, let's select Alembic paths. You will see, somehow you should see right there, the paths to the Alembic. This is just like your liner in Maya, and it can save all the hierarchy that you have in Maya and groups and whatever. But right now, they are just the shapes, as you can see. And this is just an attribute, which is a string, just letters and, and characters that defines where my objects are. So this is really useful to do a lot of stuff. 
but as you can see, we have lost that here. It's really easy to fix. Uh, transfer attributes, we will do a path transfer attribute. So now my unpacked Alembic, my geometry has this attribute called path. Great. So let's grab that one and just make a duplicate of that. Alt, by the way, to just select Alt and drag and use duplicate in all the nodes once. And let's grab my Alembic and load the muscles. Okay. Now I have my muscles right there and I can try and just select one muscle because we will be doing like the first setup in say the biceps. So I can do a blast node which deletes everything right now and I can choose what thing to delete and thanks to the Alembic path I can select this guy, hit enter and I just deleted the biceps. I can delete non-selected and now I have my biceps. And as you can see here, this at path, it means attribute path equals all these string, all these characters. Okay, so now we have our muscle. There's a better way to do that, but this is fairly good because sometimes you can do something like that. Just as an example, instead of choosing paths, I will select geometries and then maybe grab this guy, which is called Island 6108. And this will change, as you can see, this doesn't define anything. This can change uh, a lot. So that's not a really good way to do it. Even worse, to get the points, maybe I can double click. I can select some points. I can double click, hit enter. These are the points, but this will change a lot. And if I just do the same thing with another topology or whatever, it doesn't work, so it's fairly better to, to just rely on the strings, on the name of a thing, and that's it. So just to end everything, we will create a node, and we will name that out bones, and we will do the same thing here. A node is a node that doesn't do anything, but it's better to have everything organized so we can know where we are and how we work. I just wrote that in capital letters because it's easy to find later what you're doing if you have everything in capital letters. Well, not everything, but the outs, as an example, the things that you want to get really quickly. Okay, so that's it. Let's start building our first uh, muscle setup.